What is up YouTube? Thrift School over here. It is windy, it is snowing, but we're at Goodwill. We're gonna go inside, see if we can find anything to buy and sell, either on eBay or Amazon. And I only got about 15 minutes. I figured I'd do a quick trip. Let's see if we could find anything in about 15 minutes. This should be interesting. I gotta be fast. I got people coming over and uh, I have to finish cleaning the house. So let's do this. So the first thing I see here are these two really cool paintings and I kind of wanted to get them but I do not have space for big paintings like that in my house at the moment. Uh, I see a Harry Potter set, $20, that's a little high. This cool keyboard right here, $50, that's a little high. Uh, well, definitely high. So this glass case hasn't been great to me lately. I used to find great stuff in here all the time but look at that, $20 for a bowl. Um, just everything's too expensive in here they'll put dvds in here video games in here whatever they can find that's you know worth something and it's always just you know ebay prices sometimes more than ebay prices these are 65 dollars each these motorola hubbles and that's not a horrible price not a lot of money to be made in a lot of this stuff now Prices may have fluctuated. This video was recorded a couple of weeks ago, and I'm finally getting around to going through to it. Uh, we have a Polaroid right here for three bucks. Not bad. I threw it in the cart. A uh, three dollar Polaroid is always good. That's a cool, unique model that I don't see very often. Normally, you're finding the Polaroid Sun models. And same thing with this. This is a really cool Lego alarm clock. I've sold this before in the past. It's missing the power cord. Eh, I didn't really want to mess with it. You'd have to buy a power cord separately. This Sony clock radio thing, uh, 15 bucks is priced a little high. It has the older iPod dock in it. Now, some stereos and some boom boxes and speakers and things with this older iPod dock can actually be worth some good money, especially the Apple branded one. I'll post a quick image up on the screen. You guys can see it. This thing is worth a good amount of money, and I've sold it multiple times in the past. Now, Taking a look at the toys, uh, I thought this was sealed, it's opened, I didn't even bother with it. But I do try to scan everything that's brand new sealed because you never know. Now these Fortnite toys, they were 40 bucks in the glass case, nobody was buying them. They shot them down to 10 bucks, and they're still not worth it to buy. <laughs> so at that $40 range, that was kind of crazy. Now these blue bins that you guys are seeing, they push these out, most Goodwills will push these out whenever they have new product, and they're loaded with ornaments but I did find this Sony bloggy touch it's actually brand new inside the box which is great I do end up opening it checking it out it's brand new in there awesome but I did want to go through some of this box and I'm finding some video games I was actually really surprised all the Goodwills in Connecticut stopped carrying video games or so I thought so because I'm finding this game in here I want to take a look over at the media and lo and behold there's video games oh my gosh this hasn't happened in months so I thought they completely got rid of video games I end up asking an employee there they said that well they recently started selling them in store again uh, yesterday the day before I filmed this video well like I said this video is a couple weeks old and I have yet to see video games again I think it was a mistake and it just goes to show how many they were holding in the back because it that this is a lot more than they normally have so I'm not sure what's going on there. I don't know what's going on with Goodwill in general in video games, but I did end up actually finding a few. Uh, we'll go over everything at the end of this video, of course, show you guys what I found. Now I'm looking through the DVDs, seeing if I see anything unique and interesting. I sell all my DVDs over on eBay, and I sell all my CDs over on Amazon, but I do find three sealed box sets right here. Jane the Virgin, never heard of it. Uh, two bucks a piece, not a bad price, but the closer I look at it, it just doesn't look real to me. I don't know. It's blurry on the back end. It doesn't. It looks like a fake um, set, but one of these sets is open, so I'm going to be able to look at it and see how the... Yeah, look at that. That just looks weird to me. Yeah, those look like they're printed on there. Well, I did a little more research because these looked fake to me, completely fake to me, and I'm not going to sell these on eBay if they're fake, but... Did a little more research on eBay, and every single one that has sold or that's listed at the moment that's used where I could see them all look like this. Very odd. So I guess that's how they made them. So I do end up actually buying them because I, I had no idea. Honestly, they looked fake to me. Maybe it's a weird print run where they only made them on these certain discs. If you guys have any info on DVDs that look like that, let me know down below because 9 times out of 10, they're fake. 
Here's something cool. I never buy shoes at this thrift store. Um, I think I've purchased shoes twice recently, maybe. And I find this brand I've never heard of before, mostly because I don't really deal in shoes too often. They're pretty clean, honestly. They're not in bad shape. They're 15 bucks, but the brand is Barker. And uh, they... You know, they're made in Northampton, England. They look nice. At $15, guys, it's actually a pretty good buy. Um, I was super surprised. You know, we'll talk about it at the end of this video. Some good stuff in here. Now, taking a quick look at the books, I always, you know, take a quick glance. I don't sit here and scan every single book. Now, granted, if I sat here and scanned every single book, I'd probably make some great profit. And especially if you're just starting out, I recommend scanning every single book you can, right? Try to find the cheap inventory for your store, get that good profit. But, you know, I just don't want to spend the time. I have so much stuff to list already. This thing's super cool, this Dallas Cowboys little locker. I actually purchased a Miami Dolphins one at a thrift store for myself. And this Cowboys one was pretty sweet. I do end up picking it up, but let's head out of here and see everything I got. All right, not bad, guys. I had to put some stuff back, but we did get some good stuff. We'll go over it all when we get to the house. I didn't get a bag. Not this time. Connecticut does not have bags unless you pay for them nowadays. So, yeah, that stinks. <laughs> so I have to uh, put everything on the back seat. You could tell which way the wind was blowing. <laughs> it's almost no snow on the front or this side of the car. Other side is completely covered. You can't even see through the window. All right, guys, we are back at the house. This is actually a little while later, like a week, maybe a week and a half. And uh, I got all the stuff. I still haven't listed it, so I gotta get on that. But I wanna show you guys everything I picked up, what it's going for. I'll scan it into Amazon right here, right now, so I can give you guys an exact idea. So the first thing we have here is this massive Cowboys uh, locker. Paid eight bucks for it, I think it was. Yeah, eight dollars, which is a great deal. Now the stickers are peeling, but that's really not that big of a deal. Um, at least the main logo is still here. The Ca Dallas Cowboys is still there in uh, really, really good condition. The name doesn't really matter, and the numbers don't really matter because those um, are interchangeable. So let's open it up because that's where I kept everything down in the bottom here. We got that Sony Bloggy Touch for six bucks. Now I'll scan everything at the very end. We did end up buying those Jane. The camera died right in the middle of me saying a bunch of video games. Um, but yeah, we also got a bunch of video games. So let's go through it all. I'm going to scan it all. We'll be able to check out all the prices. And guys, like I said about these Jane the Virgin DVDs, I, I they honestly seem fake to me. They still seem fake to me. It's just like blurry. It's not good. I don't know how well it's going to pick up on here, but it's blurry. It just doesn't look real to me. But like I said, I, I checked eBay. All the listings look just like these. So if you guys have ever encountered something like this, please let me know down below. I'm very curious to hear um, if, if you've had to deal with that before. Now we'll scan the Sony bloggy camera into Amazon. Now obviously I have to sell it as used. Even though everything inside is new, it still has its original bottom seal by Sony, which is nice, but the top one was just cut open, and when I opened it up, everything was new. Now, it could have been used once, it doesn't look like it. Uh, it could have been though, so that's why I'm gonna still sell it as used. Used, it's selling for $52.74, that is the lowest price. I'll make $44.93 on it, guys. I only paid six bucks. Uh, it looks like the next used price is $89.95 Prime. So this person at 52 is really, really, really undercutting and mine is next to new. So I could actually probably price it higher than all of that. Next, we'll go over the video games. We got a bunch of games here and I haven't seen video games since. And like I said, it's been like probably, probably a week and a half to two weeks, honestly, since I bought this stuff. Haven't seen video games any other time I've been there. So I think it was a mistake, but you know, I'm gonna keep checking every day. We got Street Fighter and Tekken for the Xbox 360. I paid $2 for this game, selling for $17.40. I'm gonna end up making $10.49 on that. Uh, minus my $2, so I'll actually make $8.49 on that, not bad. Next, 
We have the Fighter Within on the Xbox One. Again, only $2 on this. And I remember this game back when it came out. It didn't get great reviews. So I was surprised to see it was worth a little bit of money. The rank is a little high at over 18,000 in video games. It's going to take quite a while to sell. And uh, it actually... Now, look at this, see this is what happens. It's only been about a week and a half, two weeks, and the lowest price is $9.67, I'd only make $3.92. Paid two bucks for it. I'm not really gonna make any money. And that's because Amazon came on the listing and brought the price way down. The next price is $10.64, that's Amazon again. And then there's, uh, and then they're starting at $16. So, because Amazon came on the listing, it kinda screwed it over. <laughs> So we're gonna have to go eBay with this. Shipping is super light, super cheap, so I don't mind that at all. Next, we actually have a few CDs, but let's hop over to the last video game, Red Dead Redemption, Undead Nightmare Game of the Year Edition. This is the Red Dead Redemption you want. Uh, it's missing the map. Uh, there's a little bit of gunk in here, which isn't the best, but it does have both discs. This is the version you want. It has all the games and the DLC and everything on here. If you find just the regular Red Dead Redemption, it's not worth too much. We'll scan this one in, pay two bucks for this one as well, and this guy is going for $15.99 used, so I will make $9.29 minus my $2 buy cost. So is that $7.29? That's not bad. Now we'll fly through the CDs here. We have all brand new sealed, and they were all a dollar each. So I sell my CDs on Amazon, but you could also sell them on eBay. Uh, hence why I sell these DVDs on eBay. I can't sell them on Amazon. So the first one we have here is selling for $10.79. I'll make about five bucks minus my dollar. I'll make about four bucks on it. Not bad. Quick seller too. This has a rank of under 5,000 in music. It should sell within a couple days of me sending it into Amazon. Same thing with this, $1 great rank, 38,000 in music. Again, just a few days of it sitting in the warehouse and uh, I'll profit $7.22. It's selling for $13.55. So uh, minus my $1, I'll make $6.22 on it. Not bad. Now these last two don't have barcodes, so I have to just either type them in or scan a picture of the front. So that's what I'm gonna do. With the Amazon Seller app, they have a little uh, camera button. You just take a picture of the very front and it pulls it up. And so this one right here is selling for Paid what? Paid a dollar, of course. Selling for $9.75. I'll only make four bucks minus my dollar. I'll only make three dollars on it. Great rank though, 28,000 in music. It's gonna sell super fast. And the very last one right here, Trace Adkins, coming on strong. All right, this one has uh, the highest rank of them all, but still not bad, 123,000 in music. Paid one dollar, brand new sealed. Uh, it's selling for 12 bucks. I'll make just under six dollars minus my dollar. I'll make just under five bucks on this. So they seem like small profits, but they add up. I send them all into Amazon. It's not like I have to take a picture. I get a lot of questions. People say, well, what's the point of selling something where you're only gonna make three bucks on it, but you won't do that on every item. Well, when it's going to Amazon, I don't have to take pictures, don't have to create a listing. I just send them all into Amazon, put my price in, that's it. It's fine. I have hundreds and hundreds of two to four dollar CDs in Amazon's warehouse. They add up, you know, they bread and butter sales come in. It takes me 10, 15 seconds, right? To stick it in the box, put a label on it and type in my price. So it really takes no time. So I don't mind doing it. And then of course you sprinkle in some of the bigger sales in there and hopefully uh, this locker isn't too bad uh, to, to ship. Oh, whoa, getting messages. Uh, hopefully the locker isn't too bad to ship. Um, it's sturdy, so it's not like I have to pack it super well, but I'm gonna need a big box. And yeah, not bad though. Hopefully you guys liked the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below if you have any questions at all. Subscribe if you haven't already. This is Thrift School, signing out. See you.